video is going to be about how to find expired domains with traffic, just a quick one. Um, so what you can see in the graph here is a site that I picked up uh, right around here when it expired, uh, and then quickly was able to get traffic back, and then it says spike since. So buying expired domains with traffic has a lot of advantages, um, especially when you focus on specifically the traffic metric compared to um, a lot of people that are buying domains where they're looking at the URL and then like the name itself or looking at the backlink profile. And so, uh, you know, a lot of times the backlink profile gets used as a, um, as a proxy of what Google thinks of the site. Um, and I find that looking at traffic um, is a, as a better measure of, of how Google views the site. And so this is all about how to find expired domains that already has traffic. And so the steps that we're going to go through, um, open Spanzilla, the tool that, that I use for this, a search for a domain, a DR greater than nine, traffic greater than 10, and then just use that as the initial filter. Um, check the site in SEMrush. What we're looking for is something like this, where it's got sort of down low right now, but it historically had some, some meaningful traffic. Uh, check Ahrefs to make sure that, and what we're looking for there is real and relevant links. Archives to make sure that nothing funny has happened in the last sort of few months of ownership or, or in the recent history. And then buy at auction. Um, so let's go through that process. So here's Pamzilla. Uh, Ahrefs DR, 9, traffic, 10. Let's put an auction end date. Um, What's today? American American Thanksgiving. I'm Canadian, so happy Happy Thanksgiving to uh, all American friends. Uh, we're gonna marketplace domain. I can just go to the auction price. Let's put a number up there for now. Hit apply filter, and now we're down to 75 75 domains. Uh, I'll filter on SEM rush traffic for the the most first. And then we can uh, open up some of these. So what I'm looking for is not doing any cafes. We want so non-branded uh, searches. And so we'll uh, check a few of these out. Just looking down and see any of that, I think, sort of any of the domains that represent, uh, uh, I, depends on kind of what you're using it for. But in my case, generally using it for uh, a money site. Um, and it's great when trust flows up there as well. Um, but that should be, I'm not sure what that'll be. And here, so check user, tons and tons of traffic. Um, Interesting. And then SEMrush will show what it was ranking for, Instagram name checker. So that's an interesting one. Um, could put that into, uh, into Ahrefs and Archive. And again, what we're looking for is uh, in Ahrefs, um, backlinks that are real and relevant so it makes sense that the site that links them was uh, a real link um let's look at the backlinks and in our archive we're looking at sort of the most recent um uploads just to make sure that the nothing weird's happened like check user got bought and then redirected and now they just let the domain expire Looks like this was a uh, interesting some tool that checked names across a lot of different accounts. Um, multi domain check if social media name is available. Okay, that's cool. Um, so a bunch of a bunch of legit um, backlinks. Um, great traffic for the site. So th this would be a, a solid one. Um, I, I would not 
not hesitate to, to pick this guy up. Uh, world, word of Salam, menu, beach for hours, restaurants. So this can be all kind of branded. You can see branded traffic at 90%. So this is not a fit for what we want. Plus three. What is plus three? We're excited about stuff. So this is again going to be pretty. Plus three. So I'm not sure what plus three is. So if lifestyle three six five works out, and so fitness thing, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a uh, fairly specific um, to. Uh, so although it didn't show up as branded, it's fairly specific. And so we got one decent one. Um, let's find another one. Thumb tackle. So this looks like it'll be an informational site, maybe around rugby, football. I'm not sure. Thumb tackles are more more often talked about in rugby. I think. Let's see what we got. So not a ton of traffic to the site. Um, thumb tackle T-shirt, funny rugby hoodies, rugby quotes. Okay, so not great ranking either. So this one's. If you really want to get, like, if you want to build a rugby site, um, this has got you a little bit of a head start. Um, not a huge head start, but the idea would be that this would give you a little bit of a head start. Um, again, we could check uh, check in Ahrefs. What we're looking for is you know, where the, the DR of the domain sits, as well as making sure that there's some reasonable links um, that were that are real and relevant. So some, I would say, like a, some direct rugby relevant rugby directories, um, some news articles. So so not terrible. This one's pretty underwhelming in terms of both traffic uh, and backlink profile. But um, yeah, it's decent. Um, okay, um, let's go back to to the list. So specifically for the one, um, we so we opened Sanzilla, we searched for a domain, DR greater than nine, traffic greater than 10, filtered that list based on the most searched, uh, based on the same rush. And then open those to see what the what the historical traffic looked like in SEMrush. We then check them in Ahrefs. There we're looking to see what the DR is and what make verify that there are some real and relevant backlinks. And then we're checking uh, going checking them in archive to see that the last most recent snapshot of those sites is a um, was the actual site and not some kind of weird 301 redirect. If it's a domain landing page, like a, if it's a registered landing page of the site's gone down, that's fine. What we're, what we're wanting to avoid is that to see that that site has, has actually moved to a, to a new, new location um, and try and avoid those. And then we buy at auction. Um, all those were GoDaddy auction. And the strategy that I like to do is with uh, sort of five minutes and five seconds left, put in my last best final bid. And, and then walk away. Uh, the more action that happens at the very end of an auction is the more um, suspected, more bots that can that will pick up on a, a hot auction. And so the best thing to do is to not extend the time, put in one big bid, and hope that nobody a bid that you're happy with, and hope that nobody else is in there uh, mucking around too much. So that's it. Hope this was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, to leave me a message.